So today I'm going to present you the tools that Adobe Spark offers. And the reason I'm making this tutorial is because I have noticed that not many people know about this tool and even less people use it. However, I believe that Adobe Spark should be just as important as Photoshop is. Let me just show you some of the things you can make using Adobe Spark. So you can create social graphics, meaning social media posts, web stories using Spark page, and this is the best part of Adobe Spark. What Spark page essentially creates is a series of presentation pages for your company. And also you can create animated videos with Spark Video. The best part about Adobe Spark is that it is a free service However, you can opt for the premium package if you want to, for example, replace the Adobe Spark logo with your own logo. And this is particularly a good option if you are working for a business, an enterprise, a company. You can also select colors and fonts that directly reflect your brand, deliver professional brand designs using graphics, web pages, and videos, leverage personalized branded templates and themes, Manage all of your brand in one single place, update branding across templates and teams in one click, or offer live phone and chat support. So I would definitely recommend the premium package if you are an enterprise representative. Once you have created an account, you can go to your dashboard and from here you can take a look at some of the ideas that Adobe Spark proposes for your content. You click on the plus sign, and go on to what can I make with Spark. And here you will be shown a series of ideas and content types that you can create using the Adobe Spark services. As it is suggested, you can use Adobe Spark to brand yourself, impress at work, just for fun, promote something, teach and inspire, or tell a story. You can create quotes, travel journals, animated stories, photo journals, or any other kind of content that you want. Let's take a look at some of the content examples. This, for example, is an animated story. Hey Liam and Carson, it's Aunt Carrie over here in New York City, and I wanted to tell you guys a story of what happened to me yesterday. It was a crazy day. So I'm gonna call this story, Thomas the Tank Engine and Batman Save Man. You can use Adobe Spark to create advertisements, be they photo or video. Need to get rid of your old bike and dreading the hassle of finding storage or who to... One of the most useful things that you can create using Adobe Spark is a presentation. And presentations can be done both in video format or as a page. You can also create newsletters. Or any other type of marketing material. First, we're going to take a look at how you can create a simple post. You can either pick from a template or start from scratch. For the purpose of this video, we are going to start with a template. Once you have chosen your design template, you can change it at any other time. You can remove the logo once. Or if you have a premium account, add your own logo. Next, you can start editing your post by adding photos. It is always best to take your own photos or to create your own graphics, but in case you are creating a personal project, you can also use the Find Photos function. You can select a picture, and if you click on it, you will notice that Adobe Spark will automatically place the photo on the background of your picture. From here, you can also filter and edit the photo that you have chosen. Or you can choose a color if you would prefer a solid color as your background. And you can also go and choose another picture. 
and you'll automatically get two pictures. And let's choose another one. Because I want to show you how you can edit the distance between the photos and their size. So you get this little bar which you can pull according to your preferences. And from here, you can either edit each photo individually or click apply to all and then choose the filter. What you'll notice is that if you click more than once on a single filter, you will get different shades of that filter. I must tell you that there is no undo feature, so whatever you do is kind of definite and you cannot change it. Next, we are going to add some text. You just type in the text that you want. And Adobe Spark offers a style suggestions tool. So you just spin it around and you do get your recommendations for what will look best on your post. One of the coolest things is that you can play with the shape of your text, meaning that you can add some background or place anything behind the actual text. You can also change the text color. The font. The spacing between the letters. And for this, we're going to take a better look at this text to see just how spacing works. You do not have much control regarding spacing, but this is why Adobe Spark is so special that you get some preset styles that should work for your post. And you can also play with the alignment or with the transparency of your text. As I mentioned before, you can also add a logo, but this is only for premium users. A very nifty tool is the palette tool. And what this does is that even after you have written your text, you can still change the palette of colors. And you can even adjust it. Notice how changing the palette of colors will also change the filters that you have used for your pictures. Remember to always click on Done. You can always go back to your original palette. One last thing about designing posts using Spark is the layout. You'll notice that the Magic Layout option is checked. And what Magic Layout does is that it moves your text as you explore the layouts. For example, if you add borders, the text will move along with the pictures. Same for spacing. However, if you uncheck Magic Layout, the text does not move and it remains in its initial position. This is where your original layout will show, but you can always change the photos and the way in which they display according to a grid. If you are not pleased with the post that you have created and its size, you can always go to Resize and click on another type of size. For example, you can create an Instagram post, a Pinterest post, a Facebook ad, an Instagram story. And you'll notice that what Adobe Spark does is that it moves your text according to the size that you have chosen. And you can also edit it again.
This will be pretty much everything about Adobe Spark Post and how it works, so let's move on to the next tool. Before creating an Adobe page, I would like us to take a look at an example of an already made post, such as this one. And in this case, we have a photo journal. Let's just take a look at some of the elements of this page. First of all, in the upper left corner, you will have some social media accounts. If you scroll down, you'll notice, along with the headline, a series of text photos, a lot of pictures and text that describes those pictures. And at the bottom, you get your credits, a chance for you to put your contact details, and a button for users to appreciate the page. Also, the footer will display the tool which was used to create the page. So let's get to creating one page ourselves. First of all, I suggest using a team, or you can create your own team if you have a premium account. Let's go with Chris this time. You're going to choose a photo. Add a title. And scroll down to start writing our story. You can always preview the way in which your page looks. You can either start by adding a photo, so another photo. And you will notice that you have a series of options from which you can choose if you want to perhaps place it differently on the page. You can always replace the photo or delete it. Then you can add captions to your photo. And you can always add something in between what you have created. Now we're going to move on to writing some text. It is always better to write the text yourself just because you have more control over the way it shows rather than pasting it from another place. And you can also play with the formatting of the text. Next, I'm going to show you how you can add a button. You can add a button, for example, to a link, to a social media website, or to a landing page. And you can choose where you want to place that button, and it's exactly where it will show. The way in which you can change the color is not by going to Edit, but by going to Team and perhaps selecting a different team. However, this will also change the entire appearance of your presentation, page, whatever you want to create. Next, I'm going to show you how you can add a video. And you can add a link either from YouTube, Vimeo, or Spark Video. You can also add a photo grid if you want to add more photos in less space. And then you can play with the position of the pictures or make one of the pictures bigger than the other or replace them. Or, as always, delete one picture. And click Save. You can add captions. Then you can add a glide show. What the glide show is, it is essentially a slideshow. However, you will see that the pictures that you choose will show one below the other. You can also move their position. Click on save. And you'll see that for each picture, you can also add photos, text, 
a button or a video separately. You can also edit the larger photos and you can add focal points, meaning that you can highlight exactly the part of the picture that you want to showcase. At the end, we are going to preview our page. For the purpose of this video, I did not insist on making it look good, but on showing you all of the functionalities and how everything will show finally. Notice how at the end of each page, the credits to the photos that you used will be shown. Let's now move on to create some videos. To create a video, Adobe Spark usually asks for an idea. Again, we're going to make a video about flowers. And pick a template. You will be shown some tips. Or you can just skip this part. Now you will have to choose between some types of layouts that you would prefer. You can choose between the full screen layout, which is just a simple video, the split screen layout for two images at the same time. You can add captions to your video, meaning that you can write some text or a simple title and text video. For now, I'm going to create a title and text video. And since I do not have any video content, I can just use a photo. Then we'll move on to the next slide. And this time I'm going to add a photo. and an icon, and I'm going to create another slide, and add some text. You can also add some music to your videos, and you can choose from a series of songs that Adobe Spark provides, or you can add your own music, or you can turn the music off. And you can even adjust the volume of your songs. As with your posts, you can choose between a series of themes that would match your brand. And we can now preview the video. To copy a slide, click on these three dots and click on Duplicate. You can also decide whether you want a specific slide to show quicker or slower than the others. Then you can always delete a slide. Adobe Spark will suggest what you should write on each slide and even at the end of the video, you will get to write your own credits. or any text that you want. Also, the last slide will be an outro, which shows that you have created the video using Adobe Spark. Again, if you upgrade your account, you will be able to remove this. One last thing I have to repeat is that you do not have an undo or redo button. So whatever you do is the final version unless you go back and repeat again what you have created before. Now we can preview the video. You can now download the video onto your computer or share it. This would be about all about the Adobe Spark tool. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me and have a nice day.